Hello everyone and welcome back to Museum Diaries. This is Jax. I know I haven't been on camera for quite a while. Um, I wanted to make this video to let you all know that I'm not leaving Museum Americana. I've been going through this funk and I take medication for depression. I don't know that it's doing its job right now because I've been feeling really depressed the last couple weeks. And uh, it's really affecting my level of participation in the house with, with just various things. And it's affecting my personal life where I don't want to do anything. I have no motivation. I feel kind of hopeless um, and a little lost, I guess, you know. I know that Veronica keeps telling me that things are going to happen, things are going to happen. And it's been five years that I've tried to help her put her market, her art in the market and it's just been so challenging and I just feel helpless where I can't make it happen, you know, as much as I want to make it happen. And um, so I have that. I have two elder parents who need my help. And I wish sometimes there was like three of me so I can split myself to accommodate everyone. But I can't, you know, I have to realistically take care of myself, my well-being and it's it's just been really rough i don't have an appetite i've lost weight i wake up in the morning i take my meds i take my insulin injection first thing in the morning and it kills my appetite i mean to the point where thinking about food just makes me nauseous and want to vomit and it's not this is something that I need to talk to my doctor about because these meds are, they're, they're killing me in a way. They're killing me. They're, I'm supposed to take them with food, but I can't. It's like, it's a very sick feeling to my stomach to think about eating something and putting something into my stomach after I've taken my meds. And it's not one, two, three, or four meds. You know, I take quite a few meds um, a day. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. I wish that I didn't have to take so many meds, but at the same time, I need them. My psychiatrist and my therapist strongly believe that I need to be in my schizoaffective disorder meds because of my paranoia. And even Veronica sometimes will ask me, are you feeling paranoid today? And, you know, and it's been rough with, with having, um... Yoli here it's not easy and um, so you know I'm not only having to accommodate and stretch myself with everybody but Yoli has issues you know we try to take her to a shelter both places were closed and we wish we had the help from the community and the resources that are out there but either we're not hitting the right resources or they're just not really out there for homeless people. And it's frustrating because I feel like I can't do anything, you know? I I just, I feel like I have my hands tied behind me and I can't do anything. And um, I've just been in this funk, you know? Please forgive me. Uh, I know that I'll get out of it. It might take me a little while, but eventually I will pull out of this funk, this state of depression that I'm going through right now. Um, I, I, I thank you for your support. I love Veronica. I don't want to have Veronica out of my life. She's been a big part of my life the last five, six years and six years. And, uh, uh, I just, would love to see us prosper and get her art out there. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, 
So I'm not leaving Museum Americana. I'm just, you know, Veronica explained to me that Yoli's situation is temporary, that she's not going to live here. This is just temporary. We're just temporarily helping her out. And that's good because she likes to drink every day. And when she drinks, she gets very argumentative and I can't handle it. You know, I, I react and I snap and I don't want to, you know, physically um, do something that I might regret, like slap her, you know, which... Um, I have done in the past. I slapped her one time because she she just became so unruly and belligerent and drunk and she was out of control and I had to put her in check and I slapped her. She was in my living room and she didn't want to leave the house. She just wanted to sit there and stand there and then stand there and argue with me and argue with me and ultimately try, try and tell me that I need to leave the house, kick me out of the house. So. You know, these are the kind of arguments we get into. And she says, maybe you need to go to a shelter. Why don't you go to a shelter instead? And she'll tell Veronica the same thing. Why don't you go to a shelter yourself? And Veronica says, I have a home. I don't need a shelter. So, uh, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time until she's off on her own and I hope it's not too long from now because having her here is stressful for me um, I don't like it she um, lets the alcohol get to her and you know Veronica provides her the alcohol and she shouldn't be providing her the alcohol Veronica's trying to quit drinking and here comes Yoli who's a straight up alcoholic you know, from sunup to sundown, she's drinking either vodka or beer. And she'll do work around the house, but it's just to get money so she can go and um, supply what she needs for her habit. And Veronica will buy her cigarettes and occasionally buy her what she needs. But, you know, this woman should have help from the state. There's no reason why she shouldn't be helped. And, and it's very a very tough situation because she's got no identity. She's got no identification, no social security card, no proof of who she is, no birth certificate. She's got nothing. So without any of these documents, how do you start? Where do you get started? How, how do you even go about trying to identify somebody properly. You know, the hospitals know who she is. Thank God for that. She's got Medi-Cal coverage now. And it's only good through October. So, um, yeah. There's, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. And it's overwhelming. And I just feel overwhelmed right now. I feel stressed out. I feel depressed. I feel anxiety. Um, and like I said, hopefully soon I'll overcome all these emotions and all these feelings and get ahead and look forward to better things. And maybe it's because I'm not doing enough. Maybe I'm just in a state of I guess you could say in a state of um, a stagnant state where I'm not going anywhere, not doing anything, not participating in the arts. I'm just really, really introverted right now, I guess you could say. So thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I hope that you understand what I'm going through and... Um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next Museum Diaries video. I'm not going anywhere. I was just going through a really, really, really bad time. And Veronica says, don't post. You know, and she's right. Don't post stuff like that if you're not certain. And um, I had to do some thinking about the whole situation. And, of course, decided that I don't want to leave. You know, I'm half of Museum Americana and so is Veronica. You know, we 
he created Museum Americana together. So, so um, that's it for now, you guys. Thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. Comment if you have anything you want to say. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I'll see you soon, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.